on YouTube. Welcome back to Scents of South Jersey with me, Kellen, for another fragrance review today. And I first want to say happy Halloween to everybody, and we're going to be taking a look at a classic fragrance today. It is a scent from 1978. It is a Woody Sheepra for men. It is a classic from a Ralph Lauren. It is Polo, the original Polo for men, also known as Polo Green. So what we're gonna do as usual, we're gonna break down the fragrance starting at looking at its box and bottle presentation. And then we're gonna talk about the fragrance's notes. Then I'm gonna talk about its performance on my skin and then I'll go over my overall thoughts and then give it my overall rating. Before we get started, I do wanna say that if it is your first time here to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you like what you see. And also check out the new Sense of South Jersey Instagram page for news and updates on the channel. And of course, pictures of fragrances from my collection. Let's get started. All right, let's start things off with the presentation. This is a Cosmar era vintage aftershave box. Uh, I don't have a box for my original Eau de Toilette because it came in a gift set, but this is exactly the same thing, except it just says aftershave here. It is a 50 ml. You see you got the gold outline around the perimeter of the box, Polo, Ralph Lauren in gold, and then the Polo logo there. As you can see, the same thing, Polo logo on the top in gold. On the sides, you don't have much going on at all. And on the bottom, you have your barcode and batch code and some more brand information. On the back of the box here, you got some more ingredient and brand information, and you can see Cosmar written right there too. So um, the box is exactly the same. That's why I figured I'd use this, but we'll take a look at the bottle. It's a beautiful bottle. This is my uh, original Eau de Toilette that I got in the gift set, and I have a vintage splash here. They're virtually the same thing. This cap is a little bit taller, because it's a spray and there's missing some paint there. It just chipped from wear and tear. I actually received it like that in the gift set, but I've checked them out and they're 100% authentic. So beautiful bottle, green, dark green, transparent glass. It kind of curves in here and you got the gold top. On the back, you don't have much going on. And on the bottom, you have your sticker with your batch code and some more brand information. The cap actually does click into place so you can pick it up by that. Uh, and you can see here, it's nice and gold. It really just awesome color scheme, green and gold. I really like it, gold atomizer. This is my scent of the day today, so let's check out the distribution. Really nice here, wow. The presentation for polo for men is really nice. It's very classy. All right, guys, let's talk about the notes for polo for men. Again, this is from the late 70s, so you know what that means. That era had fragrances that had so many notes. There are just too many to memorize. I'm gonna list them and then I'm gonna tell you which ones I pick on the most. So um, the top, you have juniper berries, caraway, artemisia, basil, coriander, and bergamot. And then in the middle of the fragrance, you have pine tree needles, leather, chamomile, pepper, carnation, geranium, jasmine, and rose. And then in the base of this fragrance, there's tobacco, oak moss, patchouli, cedar, vetiver, musk, and amber. So that's a lot of notes. The ones that I feel are the most dominant for this fragrance. On the top, I get that basil. It's very herbaceous. Uh, and then in the middle, really that pine tree needle comes through and the leather. And then I think in the base, the tobacco, the oak moss, of course, and the musk really push through in this fragrance. Those are the ones that I get the, the most, I guess, feel from when I'm spraying it, the ones I can detect and pick up on. Other notes um, that are in many other fragrances, I still to this day just don't really know what they smell like, but I have a good feeling for obviously what pine is and you know oak moss, musk, et cetera. Those things are really prevalent in this fragrance. All right, so the performance for Polo for Men. It's great. For me, it's great. And again, I'm talking about the current formulation. I'm getting eight plus hours. I'd say eight's a safe number on my skin. It really projects very strong for two to two and a half hours with a nice sillage trail. Uh, I would say about the halfway point, right? Right around hour number four, it's going to be about maybe a two foot scent bubble around you. And then it only becomes a skin scent for me at the very tail end of its, of its life cycle. So uh, this lasts beyond a full work day. I can still get whiffs of it as I'm driving home from work. Um, it's a skin scent maybe by hour nine. Spraying it on clothes really, really helps too. That'll absolutely boost the performance. So things like this, uh, that if you want to push the performance on it, there's a lot of products that'll match it. I've heard some people say the current formulation has poor performance, you gotta get the vintage. So that's what I did, I got the vintage, but unfortunately, as it happens many times, the top notes on this are so spoiled, they're sour, it doesn't smell nice, but once it dries down, that oak moss really comes through and it's a little bit thicker, a little heavier, so it smells nice then, but honestly, I don't wear it that much because to put it on is unpleasant because of how like rough it smells because of how sour it is, where the opening on this one is just absolutely beautiful. Um, although the aftershaves that I have, vintage aftershaves, both of these are vintage aftershaves, 
um, are, are awesome and I really like them and I, I like to have the aftershave. The aftershave balm really does help as well too. And then I will say Polo for men or Polo Green as it's known has the best body spray I've ever had. This stuff is like one for one with the EDT and they have a deodorant as well too. So layering it will really push the performance and I can say you easily get 10 plus hours out of it. As far as a body wash goes, that'll help performance. I don't, I can't find one for the life of me, cannot find one. So I had to get like its less successful brother, Beverly Hills Polo Club Rogue. And it smells a little like it. Obviously it's nowhere near the quality or performance or any of those things. But um, as far as a body wash goes, it's a, it's an okay alternative. It'll, it'll do its job. Uh, and and the gift set also did come with a one ounce bottle too. So the performance on this is excellent. Those extra tools um, in your toolbox for performance for that scent particular will really help push the performance. All right, so my overall thoughts for Polo for Men by Ralph Lauren is it's just one of the most classic fragrances. It's a timeless scent. It could easily be any one signature scent. I've been wearing a lot of it. You know, I put the vast majority of my wearing it this year as opposed to, you know, the end of last year when I first got it. Um, it's masculine. It's it's a green beast mode scent. It's dark. It's musky. It's woody. It's earthy. It's got leather. It's got tobacco. All of those combined just make this an amazing men's fragrance if you like classic masculine men's scents. I absolutely love it. I uh, would say the vast majority of the fragrances that come out of uh, Ralph Lauren at, you know, now minus a handful, maybe minus Safari. I never tried Modern Reserve, which was kind of like a, a, a like revamp of this one. I never tried that one. Uh, but the, the vast majority of scents are very modern. They're very sweet and Broxen, very like candy sweet. I don't really like them at all, as you know. But this one really stands on its own. I think this would really get you attention it's, it's got me compliments it smells so good i sprayed some on it just that opening in this one now it's sort of drying down on this hand we'll take just that instant opening it's so green the pine tree needles come through right away and even though that's not even a top note um, this really gives off a feeling of maturity it gives off a feeling of success this is something i see like you know when it came out in the late 70s early 80s guys at the country club would probably put this on they would splash it on or they'd spray it on and i'm sure that you know the formulation then it would last all day but this is just an amazing fragrance i really 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 enjoy it and now that i've had it for a year i know i reviewed it initially but i only had had it for a few weeks and i was just excited to have it and now that i've had it for you i've been wearing it a lot recently um you know i probably had it on the past two weeks every day i was wearing it to work you know out with my girlfriend if we went out um, you could wear this casually. I think you could wear this formally because it's so masculine. You can dress it up. It's a signature scent. It's office safe. Maybe just go low, lighter on the sprays. You know, I'm putting on maybe five or six sprays because, again, I really want this to stay with me all day. Um, ages for this is going to be probably 30 and up. I would recommend wearing it. The season for this is definitely a fall and a winter scent. I would not wear this in the warm weather because it's just going to be a little bit too heavy. Um, so daytime, I think, is best for this, too. On a nice fall day, this is going to be a perfect fragrance, uh, even into the winter, too. So I'm really happy that I have this in my collection. I don't think it smells dated. I don't think it's an old man scent. I saw some comments online of people saying that about this fragrance. This one is stood the test of time. Um, I had a subscriber actually tell me that it's no longer on the Ralph Lauren website. So I hope it's not going the way of Koros where they're kind of phasing it out, but maybe it's not as popular. So maybe get yourself a backup bottle. Um, I, I probably would too, because I'm not even counting this because of the fact that it's kind of, kind of sour, but um, I'm not sure. I don't know if it's discontinued. I haven't heard that. It's still all over the internet. You can find it everywhere. So I think we're okay for now, but this is just definitely one of the best masculine classic green musky leather tobacco fragrances but i consider it in a green category and it's definitely one of my favorites and its performance is awesome the scent smells great too so i really love this one all right it's time for my overall rating for polo for men or polo green whatever you want to call it first let's start with the presentation the bottle's absolutely beautiful i love the gold i like the color structure i think it would look classy on anybody's counter um, I like the, the cap. It clicks into place. It's nice and heavy in the hand. The atomizer is really nice. Um, I, I, I love it. The only thing I could think of maybe that would give it a perfect score would be if at one point it had a built-in sprayer because I think that that's the most classic looking fragrance bottle for men ever from that era, the era that this one was in. But it didn't and I don't think it ever had, so that's fine. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. For performance, eight hours is really what I'm going to have to give the average performance for me. Maybe a little bit more when I spray heavier, use more products, but eight hours is what I'm getting. So I'm going to give it an eight out of 10, which is a solid performance, especially for a new formulation of a classic scent. And as for the scent goes, 
I love it. I, I just talked a lot about it. Again, it, it's it's heavy, it's dark, it's green, it's musky, but yes, it, at the same time, it's also clean and it's fresh. I feel clean and fresh when I wear it. Um, so I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. I, I love the scent. Um, you know, the, the pine and the, you know, the, the tobacco lead that all comes through for me. Those are some of my favorite notes. So again, the scent is a nine out of 10. So overall, uh, Polo Green or Polo for Men by Ralph Lauren is gonna get an eight and a half out of 10 for me too. I absolutely love the scent. All right, guys, that's my review for Polo for Men by Ralph Lauren. I wanna hear from you. Do you own this scent? Do you like this scent? Do you love this scent? Is it one that you're not a huge fan of anymore? Do you feel that it's dated? I also want to know, guys, what are some alternatives to this scent? I've looked on a line for things and all I found were like really, really cheap looking clones that virtually tried to make a carbon copy of the bottle. What's like another brand that's very similar to this in the green realm? I want to know of some ideas because I, I would like to look for one in case this does disappear forever. I want something similar or I'm just going to have to panic buy and buy a lot of bottles. But I would love to hear from you guys um, in the comment section. Thank Thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. Again, have a happy Halloween, and I will see you all next time in the next fragrance video. Take care.